Greetings everyone, welcome back to my channel with your guy Kemzit play some Age of Empires Definitive Edition. Today we will be playing the single player campaigns. Um, I'm sure everyone would like to see all of the game playing, especially all the campaigns over here of course. We will get to that one one point and even do some multiplayer. Who knows, maybe one of you guys are lucky and is able to play with me. I'll be honest, I'm not the best player, I might be a scrub or a noob, but you know, it's still enjoyable to see some gameplay together with all the people and just have fun. That's the aim, having fun, no matter if you're gonna lose or win. But either way, let's get going to the tutorial campaign of Ascent of Egypt. Uh, take your first step into the... E in. Uh, ooh, it's sometimes hard to speak some English, but anyway, take your first steps in Age of Empires by experiencing this new, uh, the story of the world's longest continuous civilization as the guiding spirit of Egypt. Set along the Fertile Nile River, wage war and unite the kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt with Nama. Built the great monuments of Huts has put. Uh, I don't know. Huts has put. If I screwed up the pronunciation, sorry, but uh, that's not mine now. Uh, perfect uh, or my strongest point, but either way. And venture into foreign lands to conquer the Nubians and Canaanites. I, mm, uh, I don't know. But either way, experienced Age of Empires players may start with Scenario 9, the River Outpost. Um, I am experienced, but uh, what we're going to do is just simply play all the campaigns and all the scenarios of this tutorial. So, Egypt is a land blessed with plentiful plants and wildlife, making it an excellent place to settle your wandering tribe of hunters and gatherers. Even though your people have primitive technology and rely on stone tools, they are skilled hunters. Establish a small village on this Nile Delta island and grow your tribe to seven people. Egypt is a land blessed with plentiful plants and wildlife, making it an excellent place to settle your wandering tribe of hunters and gatherers. Even though your people have primitive technology and rely on stone tools, they are skilled hunters. Establish a small village on this Nile Delta island and grow your tribe to seven people. Okay, um, that's interesting. He seems to be talking about this. He just blah blah blah. You can see it and you can hear it. Uh, what else did he say? He was hunting to assign them blah blah blah. Creator villages. Okay, that's obvious. Building houses. Our first inst uh, what we need to do is grow our tribe to seven people. That's easy. Um, after that, our hands are just hunt most, uh, you must hunt gazelles and elephants to increase your stockpiles of food in order to create new villages. As your population grows, you must build new houses to accommodate the new units or else you will be, you will not be able to create any new ones. Uh, the third hint is villages can move around gazelles and herds them closer to the town center before hunting them. This decreases the distance the villager must travel carrying the meat to the town center where it is added to your stockpile. Uh, when you hunt a, when, when you hunt elephants, you must use a different tactic than when you hunt the gazelles. Elephants will attack the villagers that you are hunting them. So instead of moving around the elephant like you do with the gazelle, you must select the villager, shoot the elephant, run away, and then when he almost out of range, turn your villager around and shoot him again. If you repeat this process, you can lure the elephant to your drop-off point where you can um, easily kill the elephant with multiple villages and you reduce the distance your villager must walk. Food from the dead animals destroys over time, so it is more efficient to assign more villages than one to gather the meat from a kill. Beware of the crocodiles, they tend to eat unwary villagers who wander near the shore. Crocodiles and all the predators can be hunted and provide food like gazelles, but at a much lower return rate. History. Since the dawn of our species, humans relied on hunting and foraging for survival. They lived and hunted in small groups, moving along the migratory tracks of large animals. Meat was complemented uh, with berries, roots, or other ed edible plants for a diverse diet. 
Now, let's start get going. Uh, I mean, let's get going. I really can talk, but either way, this is our first uh, scenario inside this campaign. So, I hope you guys will enjoy, even though it's surely the easiest one and it's just nearly, you know, not worth watching maybe for most of you. But again, I'm gonna show it for the ones who are even new to this game. And also going to show what they're made of. Because to be fair, this is just amazing. They also added a history. They also talk about, you know, how we used to be. It's not just Egypt who, you know, walked around, migrated, and hunted for food and what of, whatever. They added hunters, I mean, hints, and also this. Ooh, here, I just seen this button that, you know the guy should stop talking. We didn't have that in Age of Empires 1 and that's amazing. I like it. And they just look look it 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 tells you what you can do, description some stuff like it's amazing. I say Age of Empires 1 definitive edition creators you did an awesome job and I assume it's forgotten empires because most of them that's what they do. I really say keep it up guys. Anyway, let's play this. Here we go. Um, as as it's said, uh, let's start of um, farming some, f uh, get us some food, of course. I'll have some houses built. Like, let's just do two. Um, we're playing this also in a slow speed, but I like it because I don't really want to rush. I don't even have anywhere to rush to. Of course, I have work today, but. Uh, I don't mind first to um, record a few videos and you know show you guys, let you enjoy it, even though it's quite boring because it's the pro you know tutorial, and um, yeah, you can zoom out. Like, look how amazing this is. the The graphics looks even great. The animations, the housing, it's like old school, but then look, greater graphics, details, um. What else could I say? Like it's just amazing. Oh yeah, we don't even need to wood, cut wood because you know we'll reach um, seven people in no time. But then again, um, mostly you, you keep one or two people at wood just to fill your um, needs. We have four villages on food, two villages on wood. That should be suf that should suffice. Um, yeah, I will be uploading more videos about this. At one point, I will also continue our campaign with Zale. I hope you guys also enjoyed. If you did, give it a like button and... Oh, there we go. We're done. And as I said, it will be easy anyway. The hunt is a success and your tribe grows. You and your people will raise many sons and daughters in this land. Of course we will. Uh, now, well, uh, that just took one minute and thirty-eight seconds, so it's nice. For generations, the rich hunting lands along the. Okay, no. Then our next video will be about forging. But as I said, um, I'm planning to continue our campaign with uh, Azale later today or tomorrow. I don't know. We will see about it. But as I said, if you enjoyed that video, give it a like button and subscribe to my channel if you're new and wish to even. Um, support it uh, write down in something in the comment box below maybe some critics whatever everything you like is welcome but keep it nice and clean uh, aside from that um, yeah as I always say this channel is only to entertain you guys and focus on showing you gameplays and whatnot maybe ramble random stuff whatever but you know keep it nice and cozy down there and if you wish to play a game together with me that's possible, add me on Steam or write it down in the comments box below and I will see you beautiful people later.